Hello and welcome to the Carrot the Straw Hat channel. I'm your humble host and believer in Carrot herself and the hope that she will one day join the Straw Hat crew and continue her journey out to sea. This channel was formed under the belief that Carrot's significance to the Straw Hat crew will continue onward past Wano, as she will sail off with them to parts unknown, and discover the truth of the world as not just a friend, but as an ambassador from Zoe. While it's easy to write off a lot of these beliefs, much of it comes from the fact that Etra Oda himself has a special connection to rabbits in general, and that's because his birth year of 1975 perfectly coincides with the year of the rabbit. Coincidence? I think not, as Oda has taken a special interest in rabbits over the course of One Piece itself, as he has done his best to include them time and time again. With even some of his author's notes at the beginning of volumes talking specifically about rabbits, one of them is stated as thus. There's this short little story. A long time ago, rabbits in the distant past seem to have been able to fly. The reason why we still count rabbits the same way we count birds in the Japanese language is because of this. Speaking of a Japanese numbering convention they have in Japan. Rabbits that freely soar through the ancient clear blue skies with those great big ears, that's kind of a occult story. And we can actually see this in the fact that Carrot is somehow able to change her direction mid-air, perfectly soaring over Zoro's attacks, or even in her Sulong form, soaring over the water in some way, shape, or form. It's not quite ever depicted specifically as flying, but is as if she has some odd float ability. And the interesting Interesting parts don't stop just there, as he also has a statement he made in volume 58. Interestingly enough, a whole 50 volumes later. And this specifically relates to him. I'm not about people just deciding things for you without any consent. Since the very day you were born, you're automatically categorized as the year of the rabbit, Capricorn the goat, you've got to be kidding me. I don't want to be some damn weakling animal like that. So that would give the impression that Oda sees his status as a rabbit to be depicting him as weak, unintimidating. But he decides to turn that notion on his head, much like he does for a lot of other elements in the very story he writes. As he states, with that being said, let's change this up. Year of the human-eating rabbit, the demonic goat Capricorn who swallows anacondas whole. Sound scary, sound strong, volume 58 starting now. And this comes right before the time skip. Well, about a year or so before the time skip, as we were in the heart of Marine Ford during this time. But we see this, that Oda has long since held this belief in wanting to switch up the identity and portrayal of the frail rabbit which which his birthday is associated with. We see that with the Lapans of Drum Island. Those were vicious, man-eating creatures who were dangerous, traveling in packs, and served as a very deadly obstacle to Luffy as he tried to get Nami to a doctor. And there are various different moments sprinkled throughout the series where Oda used bunnies as a kind of vicious element, more or less. But this is highlighted at its maximum with the first appearance of the Sulong form. We had heard about Sulong, or at least it was very much alluded to, very early on in the Zo arc. 
where it was stated that should the full moon have been out, they would have been able to decimate Jack's forces. And it is no coincidence that Oda chose the very first person to depict Sulong as Carrot, the rabbit. I mean, such a vicious form, something known as translating to Moon Lion, Lions of symbol of ferocity and strength hell we had a lion in this storyline we had a jaguar in this storyline it could have been pedro to transform into sulong it could have simply only been peckham's to transform into sulong but no oda specifically chose carrot as the poster child for the Su Long form. Oda has long since been drawing to this relevancy of rabbits within his story because rabbits are so associated with the moon and he's been putting this emphasis upon the moon not just with the Su Long form but with the cover story of Eneru the association with the Skypean the Shandian the Brickin people there's that association there. And juxtaposed to it, much like Inuarashi and Nekamamushi, the lords of the day and the night, the inverse of that is the sun. Jimbe, the sun pirates, the sun god Nika, those who await the dawn, the dawn that Pedro talks about. All of this leads to the importance of having a mink on the crew, specifically Carrot. Carrot has long since had this deep association with the Straw Hat crew, even going beyond her initial goal of just going to the tea party. There have been multiple moments where she is closely involved with them in a way that depicts her almost as a member of the crew. And none of this is more poignant than in the anime. The anime, who, mind you, has time and time again produced predicted things or has shown that they have a deeper knowledge of things behind the scenes and for some odd reason the anime has been pushing Carrot's involvement with the Straw Hats in various different moments to a startling degree that it is far from unnoticeable. So I hope that you fellow Carrot fans will join me in this journey of chronicling and following Carrot's journey to becoming a straw hat after the conclusion of Wano. As this path isn't just as simple as the examples that I've shown. It goes far deeper than that. So join up with the Cult of Carrot and push the hashtags Carrot for Nakama, Carrot for Straw Hat, as we believe in this spunky white rabbit. And of specific note, this channel would not be possible if not for the Twitter account Carrot for Nakama. As a lot of my beliefs and uh, the direction that I've taken with this channel comes from this person. As a lot of the ideas that I've been having form in my mind over time were solidified by this Twitter account. Many of the thoughts that I thought I was alone in, this person has also come to the same conclusions and I want to push this no matter what. So you will find a link to this person's profile down in the description below. Give them a follow as they go in depth in ways that I could never on my own. But I will do my best to spread the word of Carrot and I hope you will too. So give them a follow, G give this channel a follow and hit the bell icon, subscribe, all that good stuff as we join hands in this journey and show our favorite white rabbit the support she so readily deserves. And until next time, I will see all you carrot lovers in the next video. Until then, bye bye